Hey, I'm hanging out in my bedroom again. And oh, is Abe gonna come over? Abe, what, what's going on? Abe's looking at me. Um, I wanted to talk about cats. Oh, wait, maybe you're gonna give me a head, but here's my old man, Abe. See how handsome he is? Yeah, Abe. See, this guy, last night he snuggled up next to me like a little teddy bear. Yeah, but you know, he's a trouble cat. In the old house, uh, we had some of our litter boxes in the basement. And um, unfortunately, in his youth, he seemed to develop a habit of um, using the basement as a litter box in itself. Um, this is kind of before me. I won't go into details, but um, the whole care of his litter box down there wasn't good. And anyway, basements tend to kind of uh, get dirtier, especially if they're in old houses like this one. This one has kind of, you know, crumbling walls where like stuff falls down and it's kind of dirt. And um, so anyway, oh, okay, Eve. I've decided not to have any litter boxes in the basement and to not let the kitties go in the basement at all once they get the free run of the house. Right, Eve? But anyway, you know, it's weird. A friend came over and, you know, he asked about the litter boxes and it's like, oh, you're going to put them in the basement? I'm like, no, no, no litter boxes in the basement. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't yelling at you, Eve. Abe loves it when I kiss him. <laughs> Abe, Abe, where you go? Abe, what, what are you doing? Okay, well, he was just visiting. Um, anyway, uh, the rule of thumb with litter boxes. Here, I got my beer here. Can you read backwards? It says Juniper IPA. Sam Adams. Or if you prefer, Samuel Adams. Um, okay, the rule of thumb is that you should have, if you have one cat, you need one litter box. If you have two cats, you need three litter boxes. If you have three cats, you need four litter boxes. We have three cats, so we have four litter boxes. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm trying to institute a new rule of law because of the problems we had at the old place. And um, one thing I'm promising myself is that every day I will clean each litter box. And that doesn't mean changing everything, but, you know, just scooping up the poop and... Um, I don't know, get, getting some of the pee stuff out. I use um, feline pine, uh, which is not clumping, but when it gets wet, you can tell that it's been used much more easily than some other kinds of litter. And it absorbs the odors pretty well. What, you okay, Abe? What's going on? You all right? Well, are you going to chase your tail? He hasn't chased his tail in years, but he used to do it all the time. He almost looks like he might. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm changing. I mean, I'm cleaning the litter boxes every day. I'm trying to make it a habit. And it's been less than a week, but it's like, so I was like, okay, Todd, we'll just do this. You make the coffee. I'll clean the litter boxes while you're making the coffee. If we do that, then I can stick to that. Because, I mean, I'm the one who always cleans the litter boxes anyway. And, boy, man, am I ever going to be, like, one of these tidy women? You, you know, like, there, there are people that do videos, and they, they get all worried about their hair being messed up, and they apologize. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, look at these roots. <laughs> uh, one thing I decided is that I'm not going to bleach my hair until we're completely moved in. <laughs> so I've got like 
some roots. <laughs> um, anyway, so there you go. Put up with it. Um, so, yeah. So this friend of mine is like, why don't you have uh, litter boxes in the basement? And it's not going to happen. And and you know, like it's my my gut feeling is that you should kind of have litter boxes convenient. And maybe I can relate to this as an old person. Like it, when I have to go to the bathroom, if I have to go far, you know, it's like it's nighttime. Then it's not good for me. <laughs> so. I'm glad that this house has two bathrooms and, and that the one is, is pretty close to this bedroom. It's like, one, two, three, four. well, okay, I'll say less than 20 steps for me from my bed to the bathroom. Yeah, that's that's about right. Um, and, you know, it's like I got an old guy. Abe's an old guy, and he needs to have a litter box close by. So that's another reason not to have a litter box in the basement. It's like, they're old. You know, you're just making it hard for them. And I mean, the other thing about needing more than, you know, X number plus one is that you kind of want different territories. And so they're not all in the same place. I, I have two of them kind of right next to each other, okay? But the other two are in different spots, so they can just, um, you know, they have their own little spots. Like, actually, they, they, they have, like, these these blanket forts. And, yeah, this this is a blanket fort. Here's an Ikea um, thing. Here's, here's another Ikea thing. Yeah, I just love Ikea. Um... But anyway, um, yeah, so they've got several blanket forts, and I built a new one, which they may or may not use. I actually showed it to Buttercup, and she is the queen of the blanket forts. Um, and she kind of liked it, but she didn't hang out. But it's like, hey, you can go here if you want. Because she's got two blanket forts, and she likes to get her the one, but the Cheddarhead steals it sometimes and then she gets really pissy and mad and so now she's got a third one and I mean you know it's like so for cats for neutered cats they have um well they, they have they have certain pleasures one pleasure is eating and in eating I let them each have their own spot and I'm kind of making it so that they have to bend to my will. I'm, I'm changing it up a bit. I'm making them eat on shells, which I'm still not sure if I'm doing the right thing by that, because Buttercup and the Cheddarhead are used to eating on the floor, and now I'm making them eat on the shelf, and that's really pushing it. But I think Buttercup's okay with it. The Cheddarhead is not. But, you know, one thing that I don't want to compromise with them too much on, I mean, <clears throat> that is to say, I am willing to compromise. I don't think that they should have to compromise to me as much, is the litter box thing. And so that's why I'd rather keep them close to them, you know, close to where they hang out, so they don't have to go far away. And, uh, oh yeah, they have, they have more than one water dish. So that's not an issue. Um, like I don't, I don't understand why somebody would have their food next to their litter boxes. You know, like um, I, I'm not judging or anything, but I have a friend who keeps their cat's litter boxes and food in the basement, and I mean it's kind of weird. I mean, actually, the litter box in the basement sort of makes sense, though I think that there should be litter boxes upstairs, too, you know? Like, I okay, like, I, I, I have my gut feeling, and then I, I decided to do a search online to see what the general 
um, internet consensus, consensus is, and it is that you should have a litter box for each level that they live on. Like if you live in a three-story house, there should be a litter box on each story. And it's like, yeah, that makes sense to me. I mean, I can understand not wanting to have a litter box in the kitchen because that's kind of gross. Or maybe not in the dining room, but maybe in the living room. I mean, especially if you clean it often, it's not going to get too stinky. And that is something that I'm finding is that if I clean the litter box, as I clean the litter boxes every day, they don't actually smell much, you know? I, I kind of scoop up the uh, the spots where they pee pretty frequently, too, which is, I mean, I don't have clumping litter. I have feline pine, okay? But, you know, it's pretty easy to see where they pee and, and to get that out, or at least most of it. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just talking about cats and kitty litter. <laughs> That's where my head is. Yeah, so if if you have a cat or get cats, then then yeah, kitty litter. Uh, make sure the cats are comfortable with it, because if they're not, you're gonna be really sorry. Oh boy, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> If your cat has an issue with where they poop and pee, it's bad news. Yep. <laughs> so do your research first, and if you're going to a new place, then try to make sure the cats are happy about where they have to poop and pee. Um, I'd have to say right now, they are. Um, there was one incident with a cat carrier that where a cat had an accident in it before. And it was on the floor, and a peed on it. And I was like, oh my god. But, oh yeah, I discovered new product. There's this stuff called Zero Odor. And um, from what I can tell, it does what it says it does. I don't know. It's, it's not... Um, okay, I will say this, that... There are a couple spots on the wooden floor here that have cat odor that I have not been able to get rid of. I've gotten rid of um, probably 99% of cat odor. Okay, maybe, is that a high claim? Somewhere between 95 and 99% of the cat odor. But um, there's like just a couple spots where it hasn't. But like I, I sprayed the zero odor on and... Like, when I put my nose up against the wood, I can still smell cat pee, but it, it doesn't permeate, like, it, it doesn't diffuse. <laughs> Maybe if I keep doing that, if I keep saturating the wood enough, I mean, I, I think it's really deep in this wood, um, but I, I'm not too worried about it. It's, it's not in any place where the cats are. So, um, yeah, it's, I've been going on and on and on and on and on about cats. And you guys saw my old man, Abe. He's my sweetie. Um, so I should shut up. Okay, good night. <laughs>